Welcome and thank you for taking your time to try out our mobile forms. In this short video, I will take you through the basics to deploy a mobile form to your users. After signing into Formula, you will see your dashboard. Here you can manage your forms and see recent form entries that you or your users have submitted. We will start by creating a new form using our form builder. Clicking on the new form button will take us there. This is our form builder where you can create simple one-page forms or more complicated multi-page forms. On the right, you will find the form builder fields. They are divided in four groups. Let's start with the input fields. Here we have read-only text elements like header and paragraph. These can be used to add guidelines, terms, or split your pages into sections. Also standard inputs like text, text area, number, and email. Additionally, you can include hidden fields that will allow you to hard code values. For example, lead source, so you know that leads come from a specific event. You can disable standard navigation and include a custom submit or navigation buttons. Next we have the select group. Here you can find select lists, multi-selects, as well as radio select. You can include smiley faces for recording participant satisfaction. Additionally, we support repeat groups. These will allow you to create contacts, line items, products by repeating a section of the form as many times as necessary. These are great for related record and child record creation on Salesforce. Next, the media group includes photo capture and other media capture options. You can add your company logo or banners to further customize your forms with your branding. The HTML element allows for advanced form customization. You can change the background, text color, field placement, or use it for custom formatted text. And the last group is for Salesforce specific fields. You can add Salesforce record lookups to your forms. These will allow you to directly search for records on your Salesforce and link them to your forms or pre-fill parts of your forms with information that already exists on Salesforce. For example, you can look up an existing account and record a new site visit entry that will be linked to that account record on Salesforce. The Salesforce select list element displays a list of records from any Salesforce object. This can be used for job assignments, product, or campaign selection, or you can use it to display a list of contacts related to an account. Let's say you're attending multiple events where users need to capture leads. A Salesforce select list can be used to display active Salesforce campaigns that will be linked to the new lead record. Now using our form builder, we will create a simple lead capture form. I will drag and drop three text fields and rename the labels to say first name, last name, and company name. Also, I will make these fields required to make sure our users fill them in. When done, we can click the green save and close button to complete the form. Before we try our form, we will connect it to the lead object on Salesforce. This will ensure that every time a form entry is captured, a new lead record is created on Salesforce. Clicking on the orange Add Connection button will take us to the Form Connections page. You can create multiple connections for each form. This will allow you to create or update multiple records on Salesforce with a single form entry. So each connection is an action that will be performed on Salesforce after a form entry is captured. Clicking on the green button will create a new connection. Next, we will select the Salesforce object that we want to use for this connection. We will select the standard lead object and click Save. Now we need to map our formula form fields to our Salesforce lead object fields. We will start with the first name. Selecting the first name from the form field list and first name from the Salesforce object field list. We will do the same for the last name and company name. Now when done, we can try our form on a tablet or a phone. Formula mobile apps are available on the Apple App Store for your iPad and iPhone and Google Play Store for your Android devices. Simply search for Formula. After launching the app, we will log in with our Salesforce. Formula can be used by both Salesforce and non-Salesforce users. And in both cases, the form entries will be delivered to Salesforce. After signing in, we will see our new event lead capture form. We can start the form by tapping on the name. Here we can fill in our three fields that we created using our form builder. We click submit when the form is finished. The form entries will be securely recorded on the device and synced with Salesforce immediately. If your device is offline, the entries will be synced once the device is connected to the internet. So you can capture any number of entries and sync them later. Now let's open our Salesforce and click on the Leads tab. We can see that the new lead record is created on Salesforce. You can run standard Salesforce workflows and reports on the leads captured through Formiola. 
Next, we will add our users. So again, you can use Formula Mobile Forms with Salesforce and non-Salesforce users. If your users have Salesforce accounts, all they need to do is download Formula on their device and sign in with Salesforce, and they will automatically appear on your users tab. If your users are not using Salesforce, you can manually add them by clicking on the Add Users button. We will fill in their first name, last name, and email. You can set a starting password or leave it to auto-generate. We have now added a new user to our organization, and a welcome email has been sent to the user. Now we can share our form with them by clicking on the Share button and selecting the access level. Now the formula user will have access to our form and will be able to capture new entries. Newly added users will receive the following email with instructions where to download the Formula mobile app. When the app is downloaded, your users will be able to sign in with their Formula login. So all Formula forms can be used by both Salesforce and non-Salesforce users. The new event lead capture form will be available for the users to complete. As soon as the user completes the form, we will see that a new lead record is created on Salesforce. When you're ready to deploy your forms, user licenses can be purchased on the Users tab using our secure payment solution powered by Stripe. Stripe is used by Salesforce, Twitter, and Virgin to name a few. Thank you very much for watching, and please let us know if you have any questions, or please visit our support site. We really hope Formula will help your business and save some trees along the way. Thank you.